So this would be specific to my chart, right? To what's what's happening. I'm wonder. I wanted some little bit more clarity about the Ajna, like how my mind works. I've been. Um, I'm just pulling I, up your chart, okay? So I'm not ignoring you. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I just feel like I've, I I tend to really get lost in my stories. Uh-huh. And think something. I'm 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 picking up information, and then I start to go into like this major storytelling, and then I'm in anxiety mode, and. Um, it just happened with this person that I'm, that I'm dating last night. And I'm just kind of fascinated by this. I'm like, wow, Jeanette, you got to just chill it, chill it with the story. So um, I'm just trying to understand myself better of what that is. I don't know if the human design could, but I just thought it had to do something with like all this going on in my brain. And um, yeah, so that's, that's like the main question there for sure. Well, so it sounds like when you say storytelling, Mm -hmm. it sounds like self-talk that makes you not feel good. Yeah. Is that accurate? I would say, yeah, I'm sorry. I I take it information. I think someone's behaving a certain way and I start to create a story behind it. Like, oh, they're uncomfortable. They're holding back They're So um, yeah. And does that feel super automatic to you? It does. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. And it sounds like you're, you're noticing it though. I am like, I'm catching myself like, Oh, there she is. There she's doing that again. Are you noticing it more than you, than you were? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Do it like, wow. But -hmm. the fact that you're noticing it more is Mm -hmm. to be celebrated. Absolutely. So let's just start with that. Yeah. Okay. The fact that you're actually catching yourself and going, wow, look at that story I'm making up about that. Right. <laughs> or look at this thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I would say is keep doing that. Okay. Like keep noticing. And one of the really important things, and I don't know, I think I probably mentioned this in some way with everything, but invoke the power of pause. Mm, yeah. Yep. The pause button. Okay. The pause button is your friend, Mm -hmm. everybody, right? Pause. Because we get into trouble. You all know this. We get into trouble when we become reactive, right? Reactions occur because some place inside of us gets activated and then we don't even think about it and we react, right? Mm -hmm. We often call this, you know, a trigger or an activation or something, right? Something gets stimulated and then it's, it's, it's like a program gets going. I mean, literally it's like a program in our minds and that program has all kinds of stories often associated with it. Right. So Jeanette, what's awesome is, is that you're starting to get a handle on that and you're starting to be able to witness yourself. Right. And that is a very, very vital step for any of us to do because we've all got programming. We've all got triggers. We've all got places in us that haven't fully healed. (laughs) It's just, you know, it's part of who we are. So, you know, blessings on ourselves, forgiving ourselves for that and all of it. And just know we're all in this together. Like nobody is free of that. Right. (laughs) And we can get better at it right? We can get so that it doesn't dominate our lives so much, right? And especially when it comes to somebody you're dating, right? Because it's when things are close in that they're more activating, Mm -hmm. right? Because we're being more intimate, we're getting closer to them and we start to feel more vulnerable and more is at stake. So that's where this stuff comes up the most, right? We used to say it in our breathwork community, say, ah, oh, <laughs> you think you're so evolved, get in a relationship. <laughs> and then I would say, ha, you think you're so evolved, become a parent. <laughs> you think being married is hard. <laughs> Have a kid. Oh my God. So just know that this is part of the terrain and there's nothing wrong, Jeanette. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
um, you, you know, your um, the channel that does define your head and your ajna is the beginning of the sensing circuit, which is connected to storytelling, mm. right? The logic circuit is more about analytical problem solving. And then the right brain, um, which is for you is more abstract. It's creative. It is storytelling. It's embodied, it's experiential. Mm-hmm. So do, do you feel it in your body when those things get going? Oh, yeah. Right. So, mm-hmm. so your sensing circuit is getting activated around that. Okay. So power of the pause, okay. take a couple of big breaths and you go, Oh, isn't that interesting? I have a whole lot of energy in my body right now. <laughs> oh, isn't that interesting? The story I'm making up about this is X. That is a really, really helpful phrase for us all to learn how to use. The story I'm making up about this is. Because even if you can, I call it telling on yourself. You can tell on yourself to yourself, but you can also tell on yourself to your partner person you're dating or whoever it is, it's close in. Ideally, if you have enough trust between you Mm -hmm. and you can even go like, you know, when this happened and you did this, I had all this energy in my body. And then the story I made up about it is blah, da, 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 da. da. Wow. Isn't that an incredible story? And then all of a sudden you've made it not true in, in an ultimate sense then it's, oh, I'm a meaning, we are meaning making machines, right? We just make meaning out of stuff all the time. And as soon as you can differentiate that program and that story from another part of you that can witness it and observe it, you're, you're good. And then you just keep doing it. Then the other part, is to pull your energy out of the story. Because what happens is if your body fills with energy and then the story gets going, and then that energy goes into the story, you, you're, you're in it, right? And the story's true. The other person is whatever, you're, you know, this, and you're just, you're in it, right? You, you're, you're in pattern and you don't have perspective. But as soon as you can go like, wow, I'm getting really activated right now. (laughs) I'm going to go to the bathroom and have a drink of water before I say anything or whatever, right? Pause, give yourself a break and then go, oh, here's the story. I'm going to pull my energy out of it. Mm. Like literally do however you want to do that. But it's when you give authority and energy and you're emotionally defined, you've got a bunch of emotional energy, you throw that emotional energy in that story and you're kind of screwed. Yes. I mean, it happens. Yep. Okay. But if you're like, I'm going to take my emotional energy back, I'm, I'm not going to allow my mature awakened self to be colonized mm. by that program. That's powerful. Yeah. Because that's basically what it's doing, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's taking over, it's using Mm -hmm. your energy, it's parasitic, it's in control. And the more you do that, the more you take the energy out of it, the less authority and power it's going to have until that you'll come to a point where you go, oh yeah, there's that thought again. Mm -hmm. And it won't have any power over you. Now, it may be that you have to go and process it a bit, depending on what its antecedent is and what it's based in and all of that. But in the, the first thing to do is to, to try to break your attachment to it. Okay. Great. That was amazing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because this mm-hmm. is an, an energetic rather than a psychological approach. Does everybody get that? Mm-hmm. Right. It's not, we're not going, oh, okay. So, you know, 
he didn't call you when he said he was going to call you. And then it reminded you of when your dad didn't show up to pick you up at school that day. And then, you know, your dad was never there for you for any of your <laughs> dance recitals. You know, what, right. It's like, it's not that. <laughs> not that that can't be useful at certain times and certain situations, but energetically taking control, taking command is gives you authority again. Mm. And I don't think it's so much that it's your defined head and Ajna, except that it does, you do have strong story making ability. But the other thing I would say, and then we'll complete with this piece is just what story would you prefer to tell? Mm. What new story do you want to give your energy to? Because you have the power to do that. You don't have to be at the mercy mm-hmm. of an old story. And just like, just like breaking a habit, it's easier to replace a habit than to just stop one. Mm. So it's easier to replace a story than it is to just stop one. Mm. The power of reframe. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Meg. Blown me away. <laughs> Thank you. That was amazing. I'm so glad I got my 10. <laughs> <laughs> and just one last thing about that. This is a big, t- I love this topic actually, but just one last thing about this is that in the dimension where there is no linear time, when you go and you tell a new story that's related to the story from the past, you change the past. Mm. Also. So let that blow your mind for a little bit. <laughs> and we don't have to understand it or anything. Just, mm-hmm. just hold that it's possible and it could be true. Okay. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Yay. Thank you for the question. It's a good one. It's a good topic. Mm. Right? This is this is classic energy mastery, really yeah. just the emotional wisdom. Yeah. Cause I felt, I felt so disempowered when the story came up, but I outed myself. I always out myself. So I did. I said, I outed myself because I'm outing myself, but yeah. So thank you. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing. And telling on yourself can be kind of humiliating, but mm-hmm. also incredibly liberating. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it can make the other person go, thank you. Yes, I did. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I don't really want to play that role in your story. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm.